Hey everyone, it's Richard here and I want to share with you today my brand new backpack. It's a uh, DIY backpack made from the IKEA Factor bags and the whole thing weighs about 640 grams and cost me less than 30 pounds to make. So I guess we should start with talking about the capacity of the bag and the uh, dimensions to begin with. The bag measures 65 centimeters up to the top of the frame. Uh, so 65 centimeters from the base to the top of the frame and the depth is 20 centimeters and the width is 30 centimeters. So the minimum capacity of the bag is 40 liters uh, in the internal compartment. The collar also extends a little bit past, the, uh, past where the frame ends. The frame ends here. So if you wanted to, you can probably stretch it up to around 70, 75 centimeters in terms of length uh, before you have to roll it down. So I would estimate the capacity to be around 43 to 45 litres at its absolute maximum. The backpack itself is made from the IKEA Factor bag and the detailing is made from the handle from the Factor bag. The hip belt pockets are large but they are also detachable. The reason behind why the hip belt pockets are so big is because I want to be able to fit my camera lenses in the pockets so that I'm able to switch lenses on the fly without taking my backpack off. The hip belt pockets are secured with two loops that goes over the hip belt itself and I also put my shoulder strap through it in order to secure it. Both the shoulder straps and the hip belts are padded with foam that I took from a generic roll-up mat that I bought from a shop called Home Bargains for £3. It's not the best closed cell foam in the world, but it was cheap. I also put in load lifters because when I was testing the pack without load lifters, I just wasn't very happy with the way that the weight was not being transferred to my hips, but rather a lot of the weight was still on my shoulders. Maybe it's because I came from the Osprey backpacks, which are known for how well they transfer their weight and how well made the suspension systems are, but I just find it a lot more comfortable with the load lifters. The removable hip belt pockets weigh 30 grams each, and the pair of them weigh 60 grams altogether. The corrugated plastic frame insert weigh 202 grams together, with each sheet weighing 100 grams. It was pretty difficult to weigh my whole backpack just because of how big it was and how light it was, but I managed to do it somewhat accurately and the whole package was around 630 to 640 grams, meaning without the optional extras, the backpack itself weighs just 380 grams. I also sewed on a piece of elastic that goes about halfway up the backpack to make sure the corrugated plastic frame stays in its place. Most of the important seams along the uh, bottom of the backpack are also double or triple stitched as well. Just for that little bit of added endurance, I hand stitched the uh, whole backpack because I don't really know how to use a uh, sewing machine very well. It took me about 60-65 hours. I didn't really clock in or anything, so it's just a rough estimate of how long it actually took me to hand sew uh, all the stitches. But in total, I reckon it took me about 60 to 65 hours to do the whole backpack. And that is just for the stitching itself. That's not including all the research and all the uh, shopping for shopping for the various components and looking up uh, various techniques and how to do it. That's just purely in terms of stitching. I would say it took me about 65 hours. If I knew how to use the machine and if I had access to a decent machine, I reckon I could have done it in about 20 hours. Just because a lot of these seams are very simple to do with a machine, like you just feed it through and it'll be done. Like this, this, this strap took me a good two and a half hours just to do the uh, just to do the seams as well as the webbing. Whereas I imagine on a machine will be done in 10-20 minutes if you are quick at it. I haven't had the chance to take the backpack and test it in the backcountry yet, but I did manage to load it up with around 6 kilograms of gear and walked around for 2 hours and it felt pretty comfortable. I'm going to try and take this backpack out on my next hike, so for an update after real world use, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to find out more about the material, the components and the cost of making the backpack, I've made a spreadsheet of all the costs and components and I've left a link to that down in the description.
Oh, one final thing. I changed my camera and microphone setup, so if you have noticed a difference, be it good or bad in the audio or picture quality, please let me know. I'd love to find out. But anyway, that's all from me, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.